Have you ever wondered about the vibrant life of the red-browed finch, a tiny bird with a fiery streak of red over its eyes? This is the red-browed finch, scientifically known as Neocmia temporalis, a unique estrildid finch native to the east coast of Australia. It's also known to make an appearance in French Polynesia. The red-browed finch is quite the sight, with its striking red markings that contrast against a sleek grey body. It's one of four species in the Neocmia genus, first described in the year 1801. But there's more to this bird than just its looks. The red-browed finch is a sociable creature living in small flocks in woodland areas. It has a preference for a seed-based diet and builds communal nests where both parents share the responsibility of caring for their young. Despite its beauty and captivating behavior, the red-browed finch is not a rare sight, especially in the southeast of Australia and even in areas where it's been introduced, like Southwest Australia. In fact, it's listed as least concern on the IUCN red list, indicating a healthy population status. Now that you know a bit about the red-browed finch, let's dive deeper into its fascinating life. Imagine being a tiny bird hatching from an egg, ready to explore the world. This is where the journey of the red-browed finch begins. In the grand scheme of life, the red-browed finch's journey starts much like ours, as a vulnerable yet promising life encased in an egg. The eggs, small and delicate, are a subtle blue-green hue speckled with spots. They are laid in nests that are meticulously crafted by both the male and female finches. Their nests, a testament to their diligence, are cozy, dome-shaped structures built with grass and twigs and lined with feathers for insulation. After about 12 to 14 days of incubation, the eggs hatch. These tiny hatchlings emerge into the world, their bodies covered in a fine down, their eyes closed, completely dependent on their parents for survival. Both mother and father finch share the responsibility of feeding and nurturing their young ones, a display of shared parenting that is as heartwarming as it is rare in the avian world. They tirelessly forage for seeds, their primary diet, and bring it back to their eagerly awaiting brood. As the days turn into weeks, these fledglings undergo a tremendous transformation. Their feathers start to grow, replacing the soft down, and their eyes open to the world around them. They begin to venture out of the nest, taking their first tentative flights under the watchful eyes of their parents. When they're about three weeks old, they are ready to leave the nest completely. They join the rest of their flock, learning the ways of the world and perfecting their flight and foraging skills under the tutelage of their elders. As they mature, their distinctive red markings start to appear, along with their grey bodies, marking their transition from juveniles to adults. And once they reach about three months of age, they are ready to start their own families and the cycle of life begins anew. And so, the cycle continues with each new generation of red-browed finches adding to the vibrant tapestry of life. From dawn till dusk, the red-browed finch is a flurry of activity. But what does a day in the life of this bird look like? This small, lively bird with its distinctive red markings and grey body starts its day early. As the sun rises, the red-browed finch takes to the trees in search of food. With a diet primarily composed of seeds, these finches are often seen rummaging through the undergrowth, their sharp beaks perfect for picking up the tiniest of seeds. Their habitat, typically woodland areas along the east coast of Australia, provides them with ample food and shelter. These finches have a particular affinity for eucalyptus forests, where they can often be found fluttering about, their bright red brows standing out against the grey-green foliage. What's interesting about the red-browed finch is its sociable nature. Unlike many bird species that are solitary or pair off, these finches prefer to live in small flocks. They're quite the little community, always chattering and interacting with each other. This sociability extends to their nesting habits as well. Red-browed finches are known to build communal nests, where both parents share the responsibility of caring for their young. As the day draws to a close, these finches retreat to their nests, their day of foraging and socialising at an end. The woodland quiets down as the red-browed finch, along with its flock, settles in for the night. Their vibrant red brows a stark contrast to the evening's fading light. As the sun sets, the red-browed finch settles down, ready to start another day in its woodland home. So what makes the red-browed finch so special? 
This sprightly little bird with its distinctive red markings and grey body has captivated us with its fascinating life cycle from communal nesting to shared parenting. Its sociable nature and preference for woodland areas also make it an interesting species to observe. Known for its resilience, it thrives not only along the east coast of Australia but also in French Polynesia. And there you have it, a peek into the colourful world of the red-browed finch, a small bird with a big personality.